Hey everyone, welcome back to another devlog. I know it's been a minute since my last upload, but I think it's been worth the wait. I'm really excited to show you what I've accomplished over the past two weeks. I've made a lot of progress with the zombies in the game, so first I'll show you the new zombies I've added. So now when the game spawns in a zombie, it will randomly select one of these three zombies. I would still like it to have more variety. I think some zombie animals would be cool and maybe some more mutated ones, or larger ones in size. But it takes a while to do all the animations for each zombie. Just for these three zombies, I had to do over 200 sprites. Currently, the bald zombie has the most completed animations, and sits at 101 images total. But it still needs animations for attacking when crawling, and I'd like to do at least a few more death animations for different weapons in the game. So, it could easily say that one zombie will be somewhere between 150 to 200 images. So a lot of work to do still. But I've also done quite a bit of work with their programming. I wanted to be able to change the zombie stats. So now it's simple to change how much health they have, how fast they are, and how fast they attack. I could always add more of these variables if I'd like. One I think I will add in the future is how strong they are, or you could say how much damage they do to the player. So for now, I made the bald zombies fast but weak, and the other two zombies have the same speed and health. Before they would just attack you relentlessly with no pause, now they pause and for each zombie I can edit how long they pause for, but as of now they all just attack at the same speed. Probably my favorite part of this update was these new hitboxes. I completely changed the code for the bullets and the melee collision, so now it takes into account where you hit the zombie and how many times you hit it there. This way headshots do more damage now and killing blows to the head makes their head explode. Body shots do less damage, but enough of them turns the zombie into a crawler. Which as you can see, they're pretty slow and weak. A combination of shots and a killing blow to the body has its own death animation. So there's a lot I can do with this, and a big reason I would like to add more death animations to have some variety for the killing blows, especially for melee weapons. Maybe I could have some where you cut the zombie in half, or, you know, his head explodes in different ways. Speaking of melee weapons, they now knock back the zombies. I had to rework a lot of the zombies code and pathing to accommodate this feature but I think it was worth it. Before you had to be constantly walking backwards to not get hit by the zombie and fight it at the same time, and it just wasn't very fun. My goal is to make the not back a variable of the weapon equipped. So some weapons could send the zombies flying, or other weapons could barely push them, making them uh, less efficient. Another idea I had to make the melee weapons more enjoyable was that some have a chance to instantly turn the zombies into a crawler, or cause bleeding damage. I think some critical hits and other features like this would make all the weapons a lot more fun. And I could even add this knot back to the guns really easily. Something else I changed, as you may have noticed, is that their bodies now fade away like the blood splatter. I liked how the bodies stayed before, but once you killed 20 or more in front of the bridge, it became quite a mess and a lot of visual clutter. I'm going to play around with this in the future and maybe add some guts or mush that eventually go away, but that's more of a polishing feature than something that's necessary to the gameplay. So without further ado, let's bring on the horde and defend the town and you can see how all the changes look fighting a larger group of zombies.
Thank you guys so much for watching and all the support. I hope you enjoyed this video and are looking forward to the next devlog. Until next time, bye.